Hello everybody, it's Susan. Today I'm going to be doing a bloom and I'm testing out my um, spinner here. It's an electric one. I made it from, well actually my husband made it for me um, out of an old record player. This is the turntable right here. Um, and this is the base. We took the lid off. We took all the arms off. Um, here's the switches over here. I added a record, like an album. Taped it on the base, on the spinning part. Where you put the records. And then this is a piece of um, heavy, not heavy, uh, thick, um, dense foam that I cut round and I taped that down to give it some height because I had to clear a couple of things on here like this, the uh, switches. Um, and now I just taped my canvas on here. Um, I don't know if I can do a bigger one on here. This is the first time using this so we'll see how this one goes. Okay, so um, I'm going to add my base coat. All right, I think it's enough. Just going to help it over the edge a bit, just do this. All right. I've got um, Caramel Drizzle by This Little Piggy. That's my first color. Now I'm going to be using just um, Amsterdam White with pouring medium. Not this is not as my cell activator. I should show you the uh, consistency of my paint. I hope this is good enough. bit more all right now I'm using black cell activator it's Amsterdam lamp black and Australian flow troll and I give it a bit of a whip before I add it to my canvas
I'm just waiting for a few more cells to appear before I start. So this was an old record player that was left here when we bought the house. And it's been sitting in storage for God knows how long. I thought I would try this. Okay, I'm going to switch it on. Uh, maybe I shouldn't Stand, sit so close. This is as fast as it goes. <laughs> it, it is spreading though. It is, I can tell. So I'll just let it go for a little bit longer. It's almost to the end. It's to the end on one side, but not the others. I'm just going to stop it for a minute to see how it looks, and then I'll decide. Actually, it did work. I don't, can't see this being good for a large canvas, small canvas, sure. Mm. I think it looks pretty nice and it does work. It's going over the edges. It just didn't go over that edge. I'm going to spin it a little bit more. I thought the black CA would um, take over, but it's really take, being taken over by the uh, white, I think. Okay, now is it over? I think it's pretty much to the edges, so I'm going to stop it again. for maybe one little corner, but that's okay. It's nice. All right, what I'm going to do is take it off and just check to see if um, it moves. It's not really moving in the middle. Maybe it's just a bit. Yeah, it is moving a tiny bit. So I'm going to keep spinning it. I'm going to just let it go for a little bit. 
until like, I get a lot of the paint off. This is the, a longer process than spinning it by hand, but there's not a whole lot of weight on here either. I mean, the sponge part doesn't weigh that much. It's very light. The record, maybe the record is a little bit heavy. Maybe I don't need the record. I could check, I could try it without it. But I think this is as fast as it will go. This is uh, on 78. It's the fastest. I believe it is, anyway. I hope, I hope it is. Yep, it's on 78. What's good about this is it's a it's a slow, uh, gradual uh, spin. So maybe it's better for the bloom. I don't know. I think I'm gonna stop now. Okay, I will uh, let it dry and show you at the end the results.